Last Sunday, we celebrated one of two ordinances of the church and uh, with the communion, and this is the second ordinance that we get a chance to celebrate. How many dads are here that actually watch the birth of their, their, their children? Anybody, any daddies here that were in that, that, that room when their babies were born? Amen. You know how thrilling and how exciting that was. Well, with our second ordinance celebration of baptism, we have three individuals uh, that when they heard uh, the gospel message, uh, and when they confess their sins for themselves and ask uh, Jesus to come in and be Lord of their lives, at that very moment, uh, their names were changed from the roles from hell to the roles of the, 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 the heaven. Amen. And so they were saved at that morning, at that point. But now this morning, we get an opportunity to look at the public uh, demonstration uh, and that's what baptism is. Yeah, there's nothing in that water that's holy. That's not holy water. That water is, 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 is uh, from this county. Amen. See? See? But it's the faith. It's the heart uh, that has already invited Jesus Christ in. So as, as in just a moment, we're going to be introduced to these three individuals. And then they will be lowered into the water. They will be submerged. And that is to identify with Jesus Christ being buried in the tomb. But we're not going to leave them underwater because they're going to come up. And that symbolizes Jesus' resurrection from the dead. That symbolizes what happens to us when we close our eyes for the last time on this side. Uh, we open our eyes to behold his presence. And so this is something to celebrate because their lives have been changed for all eternity. Amen? And so join me, join me as we pray for these individuals. Father, we thank you for this expression. We thank you for these uh, uh, two little people and this adult who, who came to a point in their life and they said, Lord Jesus, forgive me and ask you to come in and be the Lord of their life. And this morning they stand giving a public testimony to a decision they made. And Father, we celebrate. We thank you. 28 years and we've never missed a baptismal service. We thank you for the faithfulness of your people sharing Jesus with others that they come in contact with. We thank you for the power of your word. Power enough to change the hearts of people and to receive you as Lord and Savior. So bless, oh God, we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Take me to the water. Take me to the water. brothers in Christ, this is indeed a great day for the Johnson family because Deacon Dirk Johnson, who's the father of Teller, and he had modeled to her what it is to be a Christian, amen. And what an honor for a father to get to baptize his child, amen. amen. Sister Teller, do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Were you willing to obey and keep his commandments? Yes. Then Sister Teller, upon the confession of your faith, Having accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we do now with great joy baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. None but the righteous. None but the righteous. This is our sister Tiana Johnson. They're not kin, okay? But I had to ask to see what they were. But Sister Tiana, do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Were you willing to keep and obey his commandment? Yes. 
Then with great joy, my sister, we do now baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I love Jesus. Before we baptize Michael Whitfield, I'd like to share with you a little of his story. He's a father that got two children, two years old, little girls. And he said that he wanted to have Jesus in his life, that he could... I got two sons, they said. And, and two sons, they're seven, amen. And he wanted to model for his children what it was to be a Christian. So he's leading the way to model, amen, amen. And that is what a father needs to do to model Christ and his family, all right? Amen. But Michael, are you willing to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Are you willing to keep and obey his commandment? Yes. Then, Brother Michael, with great joy, we do now baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Take me to the water. to the water Take me to the water To be baptized Let us bow our heads Father God Oh I'm sorry Go ahead and pray You're praying Go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity, Father God. An opportunity, Lord, to bring in three more into your kingdom, Father God. We know that, Lord God, the saints in heaven are praising and worshiping and just giving thanks to God, Lord God, for these lives. Lord God, as now they have declared that you are their Lord and Savior, Lord, we pray that you will guide their footsteps now, Lord, as they embark on this journey, Lord God. Feed them with your word, Father God, and may your word continue to be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path. Bless the families that they represent, Father God, that they may be a light within the families that they represent. These things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen.